July 18th, 19th, and 20th, the staff of Wharton Elementary experienced an amazing training on leadership. This training not only included leadership training for the staff, but how to build leadership in our schools and with our students. During this three-day training, we walked through the seven steps of highly effective people and learned more about ourselves, including our strengths and weaknesses. We learned about each other, learned about what was important to us as individuals and as a team. Each step helped us grow and helped us to become stronger leaders. We also learned what areas we needed to work on to complete our circle and strengthen ourselves and our campus. On the third day, we learned how these skills are applied in our school and our classrooms. We learned about teaching students responsibility, ownership, and pride, not just in school, but within themselves. We will begin the school year differently. We will begin to empower our students. We will let them know the decisions they make now matter. It is their choice if their school succeeds. It is their responsibility to succeed themselves. Watch as our school transforms, as our students transform, and most importantly, as our community transforms. The Leader in Me training changed my outlook on leadership because I always thought only one person could be a leader. However, in this training, we figured out that all leaders basically work together to achieve the same goal or achieve someone else's goal. It's going to help me become more of a proactive leader and the habit I'm going to focus more on will be sharpening the saw so I can help myself, therefore I can help others. This training changed the way I viewed leadership because I always viewed leadership as one person being a leader and the rest following. But after going to this training, to me it's more about you becoming a leader yourself and then trying to help others become a leader also and then coming together as a group and changing the way of the environment around you into a positive leadership environment. And the one thing that I'm going to work on this next year to promote leadership would be being proactive so that if something goes against uh, the norm, I'll be ready for it. Um, using those seven habits are going to help a person grow to become a better leader and to understand how to effectively be one. What I learned from the Leader in Me training is that you should have words to live by. The seven habits of effective people will not only revolutionize our school, but it also will help form these young people into effective adults. In order to be understood, you have to first understand. In order to understand the other person, you have to be an empathic listener. In other words, you listen to understand and reflect on their feelings and the words the person speaking. So you cannot be thinking about anything else but what that person is saying. I have been working on this skill since the training and it definitely is not as easy as it sounds. I do feel that me working on Habit 5 will help create better relationships with coworkers, parents, students, and improve my communication with them. Greater things are yet to come and we cannot wait to implement the skills we learned to create greater leaders tomorrow.